What is up everybody? Candor Kid here and this is a different type of Donna Titans video. There's not going to be any gameplay. There's not going to be the game on the screen. It's just going to be you lovely people looking at me as we discuss the state of Dawn of Titans. Dawn of Titans this week I believe on the 8th is turning one year old. Yes it's been out since 2015 and beta and alpha state and all that stuff but since global release it is turning one year old this week. This is a time to rejoice. To celebrate as this game is still fucking here um, some of you didn't think it was gonna happen um, and we're gonna talk about that here in a little bit um, we're gonna talk about the past where the game has been where the game is now and where the game hopefully will go in the future so you know what sit back relax grab some popcorn and watch as we talk about the state of Dawn of Titans. All right guys, the game, Dawn of Titans. It started off pretty basic, you know? It was a mobile game. It was a war type game, strategy type game where you had troops you had one big titan, and you attacked people's lands, um, attacked people's garrisons for food, for gold, for VP. Um, it was very season heavy, very team alliance heavy, but also it had that campaign feel to it as well. The one thing that stood out about this game was the visuals, right? The people walking around the farms, the barracks, your Unak, uh, whatever that place was, the freaking Ragnar Keep and all that stuff. You saw the people walking around. You saw the detail. You see the water as it's falling off of the, off of the land, off of the the floating island. You see all these things in battle. You're seeing all of this stuff, and honestly, it was mesmerizing. It was out of this world, and that honestly grabbed a lot of people's attention there was also a great campaign that you did as you progressed in strength ultimately you finished it and it was gone same thing with the adventures guilds or whatever those were called honestly haven't played mine since i got sardu but yeah you could attack them they were hard and you could get sardu that was back when they started with uh they started introducing ranger titans as well Unfortunately, once you completed both of those things, there was nothing left for you, and that was pretty much it for the single player uh, aspect of the game. But the PvP, the player versus player aspect of the game, still continued, um, and that's where you know the game really thrived. Um, after a while, the game started gaining popularity, and then Natural Motion began experimenting. Um, we had events, we had seasons where we got VP, but natural motion started changing things up. I started um, at about the time they started changing those things up. I started in the Kamathi event where I think there was like, what, 21K uh, souls as your max and you can get like a level 15 Kamathi. You know, I, had a, I got a, a level one four star. I ended up going for the level 15 Kamathi. They started changing these things up. They started making the soul counts higher and they started nerfing the relics they started making it so that it was being harder to complete and you were gonna have to have to spend money unless unless you were willing to spend the time um, they in essence pretty much were helping themselves make money um, people could buy shields to protect their garrison and their lands um, and the game was obviously still the game was obviously riddled with server errors 
and uh, reloads during battle and it still is um, I'm seeing some stuff connected to Wi-Fi uh, and even connected to the regular uh, LTE network to where I am losing signal and I'm losing my troops I'm losing my food I'm, I'm losing I'm losing all of that stuff I'm losing souls wasting relics and honestly wasting money at certain aspects of the game um, the community began to be very upset a lot a lot a lot of the community was upset I myself was upset I posted a video uh, a rant video about the the shields on people's lands at one point um, some people in the community were threatened to boycott. They were threatened to leave the game. They were threatened to not spend any money. There was even a fucking list that people uh, had that they fucking uh, listed demands. They held the game hostage and ultimately Natural Motion came at them with the rebuttal. Said they were going to change all this stuff. Um... And you know what? They begin changing some stuff, not everything on that list. Um, these changes really started with the Land's Awakening update and continued to change and evolve to what it is today. There's a lot of stuff that went on. Uh, they changed the way we level up Titans. Um, they ch uh, when it comes to castle level, then they changed that. When that wasn't good enough, you know, they're testing things. And the thing that they, were, they were pissing people off, but they were also making people happy. Um, events continued to change. They continued to change things up. They changed the relics. They changed the, the way things dropped. They gave us portal stones. They didn't give us portal stones. Um, they gave us relic tokens. They gave us uh, titan tokens. They didn't. They changed it up and they were leaving us. Sometimes we were getting uh, guaranteed three stars on Sunday or the last day of the event. At the other times we were not. Um, People were asking for lightning titans, lightning troops, so they gave us the vikings and they changed their skills and they gave them lightning damage. The VP grind is always the VP grind and that really hasn't changed much. Um, they did change the fact that we, can, we couldn't lose VP anymore from getting our lands attacked. It was only from garrison stuff and that made a lot of people happy including myself. Um, a lot changed and still some weren't happy and most of us continue to grind spend money and love this game currently currently we're in the present now currently there's an event and it's near rearing its beautiful head and it's called the throne wars event i for one am excited for this event and will do my best to participate and bring you the fans the best content that i can create the game is heading in a good, not great, but good direction. Uh, I am excited to play this event on, on the one year anniversary of Global Launch or somewhat near, maybe next week. I think they said it was going to be, I'm not sure. And I'm excited to see what Donna Titans holds in its future. So let's go ahead and talk about the future. There are many things that I can see in this game's future. I'm sure all of you, you have ideas. Um, expectations out of this game as well I for one want more mage I want mage Titans you know I want that thing on the staff that we saw in the promo stuff you know lightning Rangers and of course a new type of troop and damage type does it have to be lightning no not necessarily it just has to be enough of a change to keep us the fans the players interested um, and so far I am interested I really am I want to see new larger scale events like the throne wars event um i want to see continued balancing of the meta and force players to try out new techniques and strategies i also want to see a balancing between pay players and free to play players i'm not saying make things easier we can keep the competitiveness competitiveness and the need for some to spend money uh, i'm saying that there needs to be a more worthwhile relics and titans for those that don't or can't spend 20, 50, 100, or even a thousand dollars on a single event. Uh, people have lives, bills to pay, jobs to do, and families to feed. Ultimately, I want to see this game thrive. I want to see this game become something great, unique, and something that will keep us, the players, playing for years to come. And hopefully, we'll see this game next December 8th, and the December 8th after. 
and will continue to see it grow. Um, I, however, am just one man. I'm just one opinion. There's a whole community out there that has its own opinions. Let me know in the comment section what you think of the state of the game right now, what you want to see in the future, and what it's going to take to keep you playing and spending. This game can't survive without its community, and we really are a great one. I for one think that the state of this game is great. It can be better. It must be better. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed the video. If I missed anything uh, about the, the past of the game, I tried to condense as much of it down. Let me know in the comments section uh, anything I missed, what you guys think of the state of the game currently, and what you guys expect in the future. Um, I hope... I hope, I hope I provided good content for you guys in this video. I tried to make it somewhat um, more scripted and staged. As you couldn't see, I had something on my screen I was looking at. Uh, but if you did enjoy this video, please, please, please hit that thumbs up button. I hope to keep bringing more Donna Titans content in the future. Um, and if you haven't done so already and you do like my videos and you do like the things that I do, Please, please, please hit that subscribe button. I do appreciate all of the support. Well, hopefully the next time I see you, the Throne Wars event will be out. And hopefully we'll be able to crush it in non-toxic dragons. And you guys will be able to crush it as well. So until next time, I hope you guys are enjoying your week, your month, whatever it is. Candor Kid out.